Hello everyone, this is Shalu Kumar again from ONTC. I'm an experienced OSCE nurse trainer for the NMC OSCE exam in UK and also the lead trainer for OSCE nurse training Cambridge. In today's video, I will be covering one of your clinical skills again and this time I will be talking about midstream specimen of urine and urinalysis skill for, uh, for your NMC OSCE exam. So if you like my videos, please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel and hopefully I can keep helping you with revising your NMC OSCE exam. Okay, so uh, today's video is all about, like I said, is midstream of specimen of urine and also doing the urinalysis. Uh, so this is a very popular station in your NMC OSCE exam. So let's, uh, I will be telling you how to perform this station as per marking criteria and also giving you my top tips at the end. Okay, let's get started. So if you look at your screen now, so it, this is your eight minute station. So it's quite tight on time actually. So you have to move through it pretty quickly. So what you have to do in eight minutes, quite a lot. So you have to give correct instruction to your patient uh, uh, on how to collect with steam specimen of urine. And then you have to carry out the urinalysis uh, using the correct technique and verbalizing the correct technique. And then you need to document your results correctly on the given paperwork. And then also then understand what the results means in that specimen and then communicate the information to your patient correctly. So that's what you have to do in eight minutes. So quite a lot. Uh, so what you will be given. So given wise, they normally tell you your ID check and alerty check has already really been completed because it's a very tight station on time. So the your examiner will tell you that you can assume ID check and alerty check has been completed. Then they're given giving you a urine sample obviously, and then uh, you need the regen strips to check your do your urinalysis, and that will. They normally use a company called Semen, uh, uh, and then you have to do your urinalysis within the set time as per manufacturing instructions. So they give you a watch to figure out your timing. Okay, so you are given a watch on the table, and you then given your urinalysis sticks. Um, and also to complete your documentation, you are given the documentation to add your results to. And this is the now the latest one, which been published only a few days ago as supporting document by the uh, NMC test centers. Okay, so that's all you will be given. And so what? Let's get started. So what we would have to do? We will do the scene safety as normal. Draw the curtain for privacy, and then state that your ID check and allergy check has already been completed as but the briefing from your examiner so you do not need to uh, carry out that so then you next you're going to explain the procedure that i am here to collect the amid steam specimen of urine and do a urinalysis as per requested by your doctor is it okay if i go ahead and do that so that's a valid consent and after that you're going to explain to your patient how to uh, collect a midstream specimen of urine so I have put the instructions on your screen, okay? Because if you get a male patient, then they're slightly different instruction, obviously, than a female patient. So please learn them as you I have shown you on your screen, okay? And once you have given the instruction, you're going to verbalize that you will give your patient a clean specimen pot to collect the sample. And then once you say that, your assessor will say, assume the sample is here, and now you can go ahead and you do the urinalysis. So what is your next step? You're going to clean your hand and up with hand rub and apply a non-sterile apron and gloves and go ahead and check your equipment so uh, all you need to check is that making sure that you have checked the expiry date on your strips okay on the box of your strips just make sure they are uh, within the expiry date and if they have been opened you can use them for one year so if there is a date of opening just look at it and say that it's valid and you can use it for one year and then also that your box has been kept uh, closed uh, uh, and these test strips haven't been exposed to air okay so you will do that and then next thing is once you have checked that you've got all the correct equipment and make sure your watch is on the table for you to work out the timing so what's next now we got gloves and apron on we checked our expiry date so we're going to dip the so we're going to take one strip out of the container and close the lid again on the container and then we're going to dip this strip and making sure all the pads are dipped into the urine sample for no more than one second okay and you've got to verbalize this and as we are dipping we're looking at the clock as well so we're looking at 
the watch because we need to figure out our timing okay so definitely and my big tip will be let the clock uh, go to full minute and then dip it then it's easy to work out your timing okay so you look at the clock and dip the strip for no more than one second take it out and they normally give you a tissue paper to put it on to get rid of excess urine so you put do that and in the meantime you know that you need to read glucose at 30 seconds so you got 30 seconds while you're waiting you can change the gloves why because then you have a clean hand so you can then from now onwards you can hold the strip in the left hand hand left hand to compare it with the chart on your container with the right hand and also you can use the right hand to write your results as well so you got a clean hand the right hand the left hand you're holding the union test strip okay so you have changed the gloves now so you by that time 30 seconds are probably gone so look at your clock if 30 seconds have gone then you can read for glucose because glucose got to be read at 30 seconds from the time of dipping so read a put your container down right a and by that time it would be probably 40 seconds just make sure you look at your watch to see that 40 seconds from the time of dipping okay so when you dip the sample has gone and then read for ketones compare your test strip to your chart on the container and look for the ketone comparison and find out the result and then you can also uh, read probably by that time by the time you do that is 45 seconds are gone so you can look for the specific gravity at the same time and uh, uh, and then you can put the container down and mark both write both the specific gravity ketone and specific gravity on your documentation now uh, by the time you have done that you only got probably few seconds left by the time uh, you know that it will get to 60 seconds from from 60 seconds from the time of dipping when you dip day at 60 seconds now you can actually compare the results for blood and ph protein and nitrite okay so you can look at two at a time so you probably can compare first the blood and ph put the container down and write your results and then uh, quickly look for then protein and nitrite compare your strip to the um, appropriate uh, pads on the chart on your container and find out your results and write that okay so if it takes you 61 seconds or 62 seconds to complete all four that's absolutely fine once you have done that and now you're waiting for two minutes from the time of dipping so look at your clock and work out when your two minutes are finished and once your two minutes are finished that's 120 seconds from the time of dipping then you can read the results for leukocyte by comparing the pads on your strip to your container um, and then once you have done that uh, then you can write the result for uh, for your leukocytes so your container actually tells you that you will start from reading sugar then going up uh, and the last one will be the leukocyte and the 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 container you have to rotate it again as well because the sample uh, you know the chart on the container is not uh, pasted on it vertically it's just pasted it horizontally so you have to keep uh, rotating the chart a little bit to compare different pads to it okay so make sure you're doing that that's how the box or container is designed and another thing is you need to be careful is that you do not keep your strip uh, at vertical okay so you got to keep it at angle so i show you on the screen so it, it the, the arrow tells you which way to go which way to read starting from glucose and then going towards leukocytes the last one and also how to keep your strip at an angle not keeping a vertical because if you keep a vertical urine will run from top to bottom and will mix the the reagent chemicals on different pads and you will get a wrong result okay so hopefully now in two minutes you have finished that uh, result uh, you have checked it correctly and you have finished that and also you have documented it as you go along so you won't forget your results now because you have already documented um, so now you're going to dispose of your reagent strip into the clinical waste bin take your gloves off put it into the clinical waste bin clean your hand take your apron off and clean your hands again and and uh, just check on your documentation that you have documented everything and now look at a, what is abnormal 
in the documentation and then communicate that to your patient that you could say okay so for example you find a you find glucose in your sample so you say oh that is that can be indication of diabetes uh, because i found some glucose in your urine sample uh, so i will uh, obviously communicate this information to my patient and I will also say that I will uh, pass this information on to report these results to the doctor and doctor will come and have a chat with you regarding further management and if any further uh, tests are needed okay uh, so you need to verbalize that and then you need to ask your patient if they have any further question and then you're going to uh, finish the station and perform your last hand hygiene and as per to documentation I'm going to show you on the screen there can be two ways some test center use the uh, for the documentation they use the paperwork given by the company where you just need to tick the results okay so some test centers use that and the other ones are using right on your right hand side of the screen which they have published only a few days ago some test centers are using that already where you actually manually have to go in and write your results as you're doing your urine analysis so make sure you practice writing and for sugar definitely write in the millimoles because that's we use millimoles as units in UK for uh, for glucose so make sure you're writing those and you you can correctly transfer the information uh, from your uh, container onto your chart as you find it in your urinalysis okay so that's the end of the station so my five top tips my five top tip is this station goes very very quick most people fail this station because they can't do it in eight minutes because there is quite a lot to do so please 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 practice with a timer and make sure that you can finish in eight minutes and you don't spend too long in the beginning giving instructions just learn them so it means you can correctly give your patient instruction and save time okay so second thing is coming to the point of giving instructions so that you have to be very clear with your patient which will be mannequin how to give instruction if it's a male patient or a female patient please learn them correctly uh, and then tip number three is making sure that you do not uh, dip your strip for more than one second because otherwise you won't get the good uh, correct results and keep keeping your uh, strip at an angle when reading it because if you keep a vertical it's gonna mix your reagents because urine will run from top to bottom and then you won't get the right results tip number four reading every element of that urinalysis in the time set by the manufacturer for that you need to make sure you know the time you dipped your strip and then it's easy to work out your so if you dip it on a full minute then it's easy to work out your 30 second then 40 second from time of dipping 45 second from time of dipping 60 second and the last one is at two minutes from time of dipping which is leukocytes so make sure you do with the time limit set by the manufacturer tip number five is correct documentation is okay uh, it's really 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 important that you complete your documentation correctly as they have asked you in the test center and practice both ways whether it's the tick ones or whether it's the other one okay so that's really important uh, and bonus tip is do not forget to uh, communicate the results of your analysis to your patient and that you will report these results to the doctor as well for further management so that's really important so that's the end of uh, the station so if you like my video please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel you can also visit us on oskinastraining.com we provide full nurse uh, adult oski nurse training face to face online and of course just bespoke packages if you just want to practice your clinical skills or just want to practice a pie or the mix of everything so we have all available so uh, so look at our website and i will soon be back with another video for you bye for now